Hi there, this is Ruben from Dutch Round 1. Thanks again for coming by. Thanks for watching another episode. As always, I appreciate your time and I appreciate your support. Today we are going to take a look at 50 essential verbs in the Dutch language. So it's a vocabulary lesson. But before we do that, remember to give it a like if you like this content. Subscribe to the channel if you want more. And let me know in the comments if this was useful for you or not. If you want to help out the channel, go to the description box, click on the buy me a coffee link and I will greatly appreciate it. But without much further ado, let's go straight for our essential verbs. All right, so we'll take a look at 50 essential verbs in the Dutch language. I made a previous video also about it. Find the link above. This is more for beginners, all right? So these are basically your go-to verbs if you start learning Dutch. The ones I'm showing you today are already a little bit more advanced, all right? So this would be for uh, A2, B1 uh, level. All right, so that's a little introduction. Let's go straight for it. And we'll start with the first verb, and the first verb is openen. Openen is to open, you know, quite close to English, openen, to open. And then we've got the opposite. The opposite is sluiten. Sluiten is too close, right? Sluiten, too close. We continue, and of course, when you study Dutch, well, in Dutch we call it studeren. Studeren is to study, right? The next one is to teach, okay? It can be lesgeven, but it can also be onderwijzen. Onderwijzen is to teach. We continue, and if you want to present yourself in Dutch, then the word would be voorstellen. Voorstellen is to present. We continue, and if you expect something in Dutch, then you will say verwachten. Verwachten is to expect. We continue, and then also if you want to determine something in Dutch, we say bepalen. Bepalen is to determine. Then it rains quite often in the lowlands, it rains quite often in the Netherlands, also in Belgium, so that's a verb you will hear quite a lot, and that's regenen. Regenen is to rain. We continue, and sometimes if it's a cold winter, we get some snow, so to snow is sneeuwen, all right? Just notice the E, the E, and the U. So the three vowels which follow one another, you pronounce as eeuw, sneeuwen. All right, we continue. We have zingen, which is quite close to English, which is to sing. Zingen is to sing. We continue, and if you succeed for uh, your Dutch exam, then you can say slagen. Ik ben geslaagd voor. The preposition that goes with is voor. To succeed is slagen, with preposition, slagen voor. We continue, and if you grow, um, that is groeien. All right, groeien is a little bit difficult to pronounce because we got the G, which is G. Then we got the O, E, I, E. So basically we've got four vowels which follow one another. So that can be quite confusing. So you pronounce it as groeien, groeien. We continue, and then to swim, not that far away from English, which is zwemmen. Zwemmen is to swim. We continue, then we have another one which is quite close to English, which is to plan is plannen. Plannen, to plan. All right, and then to deliver. To deliver is leveren. Leveren is to deliver. We continue, and if you want to change something, then it's veranderen. Veranderen is to change. There's another one, which is to trust. To trust is vertrouwen. Vertrouwen is to trust. We continue, and if you possess something, then you can use the Dutch verb bezitten. Bezitten is to possess. Then when something rises, when something goes up, when something ascends, then we can say stijgen. Stijgen is to rise. And then of course, what comes up must come down, or what goes down must go up, is basically to descend is dalen. Dalen is to descend. We continue, and if something happens, then we say gebeuren. Gebeuren is to happen. Another useful verb is to accept. Aanvaarden, all right? I made a video about separable verbs. Separable verbs are basically verbs which you can chop up in two pieces or even a little bit more sometimes. Well, aanvaarden is an exception. Aanvaarden looks like a separable verb, but it is not a separable verb. If you want some more information about separable verbs, click on the following link and I'm sure your life will become a lot easier in that way. 
Antwarten is to accept. We continue and then we have to dance. To dance, close to English, which is dansen, right? And then we have to dream, which is dromen. I'm sure by now in your studies, you have noticed that almost all the verbs, all the verbs in Dutch, they end on en in the infinitive form, all right? Dromen, zingen, dansen, and so on. So basically, that's the infinitive form of the verb, which is ending on en. We continue. To dare is durven. Durven is to dare. Then to experience. To experience is ervaren. Ervaren is to experience. We continue. If you complain, then that's klagen. Klagen is to complain. Another one is oefenen. Oefenen is to practice, right? To exercise, but mostly to practice. Onderhandelen. Onderhandelen is to negotiate, right? If you're negotiating a business deal, then you will use the Dutch verb onderhandelen. Then to convince. To convince is overtuigen. Overtuigen is to convince. Then to park. To park your car or to park your bike, for instance, that would be parkeren. Parkeren is to park. All right. We continue. To try. To try is proberen. Proberen is to try in English. Redden is to save. To save somebody is redden. Redden. Okay. Rusten, close to English, is to rest. Rusten is to rest. All right. And then another one is schilderen. Schilderen is to paint. Schilderen, again, the SCH, sometimes difficult to pronounce for students. Sch, schilderen. All right. It's to paint. Smaken is to taste. Right. To taste. Uh, it tastes nice, uh, it tastes delicious, then you can say het smaakt lekker, for instance. Then we have snijden. Snijden is to cut, right? We continue to pass away uh, or to die. You can also use it for that translation is sterven. Sterven is to pass away. We continue and then if you want to send something, then basically you can say sturen. Sturen is to send. Then we've got to marry. Marry is trouwen. Trouwen is to marry right a marriage can sometimes also be a trouw as a noun in dutch trouw is a marriage we continue and then scheiden which is the opposite can be to divorce but it can also be just simply separating a thing from one another scheiden uh, uitleggen is what i'm doing right now that's to explain all right that is a separable verb all right when you want to say i explain in dutch you won't say ik uitleg that is incorrect you will say ik Lach out. Again, separable verb. Earlier in the video, I posted the link so you can click on it and I made a video about the separable verbs in Dutch. We continue and we have vallen. Vallen is to fall. Again, quite, quite close to English, so maybe easy to remember. We continue and we have to fight. To fight is vechten. All right, we have that ch which we pronounce as g. Vechten, right? To fight. Vergeven, that's to forgive. If you look a little bit closer, you can find there's some similarities with English. Vergeven is to forgive. We continue and if you want to connect something, uh, or for instance, if you want to connect to the internet, to the Wi-Fi, then you will say verbinden. Verbinden is to connect. Then to disappear, it's completely different than English, is verdwijnen. Verdwijnen is to disappear. Right, and then to translate is vertalen. Vertalen to translate from English to Dutch as we're doing right now, that would be vertalen, right? We continue and then of course the last one for today is to celebrate and to celebrate is vieren in Dutch, all right? To celebrate is vieren. We have celebrated his birthday, we hebben zijn verjaardag gevierd, right? That is vieren to celebrate. All right, these were the 50 verbs, essential verbs in the Dutch language for today. I hope um, you found it useful. Also, I want to thank you again for watching. Remember to give the like if you like this content. Subscribe to the channel if you want more and let me know in the comments if this was useful for you or not. Again, if you want to help out the channel, go to the description box, click on the buy me a coffee link and I will greatly appreciate it. I want to thank you again for watching. I want to wish you a great rest of the day and stay tuned for another episode of Dutch Round 1. Ciao.